Hi everyone, I'm Davy Jade. Welcome to my channel and I'm here to share with you what I will be doing for the full moon and what I've been guided to give to you as well to do for the full moon. All of these little guidances on the new moon, full moon and various holidays are given to you in real time. So I'm going to be posting this right after. Please do um, subscribe and hit the like button. And hopefully I would love for you to share these out because they are given to you to be able to bring to you what you desire on this full moon, which is in Aries. So um, as I was considering it uh, for what would be the easiest, because what I teach you is the very easiest why I teach you the very easiest, and I've shared this with you before, is because like anything, we have to start at the bottom. I know there's a lot, a lot of information out there of what you can do, but it's like anything. You can start with a candle, like a tiny little birthday candle, or you can start with a stick of dynamite. So I would prefer that you would start with a tiny little candle, which would be much more beneficial for you in learning how to work with candles. Candles are very strong energy and they're very spiritual energy. And if you use them for the right way, meaning the right action, uh, asking your angels, guides, or the deities that you work with that are the highest, then you'll be able to manifest what you want. A typical candle working is about 28 days of full cycle. When we do it on the full moon, we get a little bit more impact, but also take into account the different energies of the planets. So this one, as I said, is an Aries, and Aries is always indicative of, if you're on the, the wheel of astrology, it is the first one. It is the baby of the family, whereas Pisces is the grandmother or grandfather of all of the signs. And so Aries is all about new beginnings, a little person running around, great big huge ideas, super creative, imaginative. But the thing about little ones is they're toddling around and they're looking at things, they get very distracted. They're very good at starting things, they're not so good about picking up their toys. So that's the way you wanna look at Aries. I've been doing this a very, very long time, years and years, so I can guarantee you with the signs um, having experienced a lot of this, this is how it goes for Aries. Aries are always uh, great with art, very, very artistic people. They're super fun, and also they can be very intense, just like a child. They might switch from their personality from being really open, and then all of a sudden they're over there crying and having a fit. I've experienced that a little bit too. But needless to say, um, what we want to do is you want to get um, either a red candle or you want to get a white candle. I always ask you to please get the votives or the chime candles. Hopefully by now you have quite a few of them on hand. And what I would like you to put on there is I want you to roll it in honey if you have it. So you'll put the honey on a plate Okay, and then you'll roll the candle towards you. And then I would like you to add a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna make it a little bit of a hot energy so that you can bring what you want to you. And how you'll do that is put that on another plate and then roll it again towards you. Now, I haven't got the candles here to show you exactly because I want you to really listen to what I'm saying to you and follow along like a recipe, like you're reading a recipe. So you can listen to this over again and you'll know what to do. I'll put into uh, the description the different things that you need. So you need to put anything on the side of the candle because occasionally I'll tell you to scry into the candle, which is taking a pen and putting what you want. And this particular time, no. I just want you to have the energy of Aries with you. It's a nice, fun, hot energy. And so we're making a candle that can bring you something very quickly because the sweetness of things in life is the honey and the cinnamon makes it 
just pop a little bit more. It gives you just that little bit of a hot, but not so hot that it's burning you. So what do you want to write on the paper and the pen of your intention? What you want to write there is everything that you love about yourself. So guess what? Aries is all about, it's all about me. So it's like, I am, I am. So I want you to put the things that you truly love about yourself on that paper. Think of at least nine things. If there's more, great. And then set that down by the candle, light the candle, and ask Raphael to be with you this time and your guardian angel to be with you, to help you in this Aries full moon, to really bring that into yourself, into the high heart, into yourself, and feel that energy. So each time you read one of those sentences, say it like a little child would say it. And I don't mean baby talk. I mean, say it as like a little child with a lot of enthusiasm, because they do say that. They look at the mirror, they reach up and they'll say, I'm this, I'm that, you know, me want, me get, you know, so we they know that everything's coming to them. The more that you put that in there, that energy in there of joy and yes, okay, then the more and quicker everything will manifest for you. So read that over three times, that whole list, and read it with all the energy that I'm sharing with you. When you're complete, close your eyes just for a moment. Take a few breaths, just very calm breaths. And then look at the candle flame again. Okay, and be with that. And then I want you to read the list three more times. So you're gonna read you're gonna read it again with a lot of enthusiasm. Okay. The things that you love about yourself. Don't read them so fast you can't get through them. Read them with intention and joy. Watch the candle, close your eyes, breathe again, open your eyes, and for the third time, read them again. Okay, so this is the three times three times three. That is the purpose of this. So once you read that, then you will finish that up, let the candle burn, sit with it, close your eyes, and imagine yourself with what you said. Open your eyes and just kind of find where your eyes landed. They might have landed on one right in the middle, one at the top, okay, one of those sentences. And read that over because that that comes to you in your eyes first is what you desire the most. Well, you might say, I looked at everything. We think we look at everything, but really our eye landed on something really quickly and that's where you wanna go. So when the candle is through, You'll read this every single day, the list, put it by you, put it with you, read it every day, once in the morning, once at night before you go to sleep, but especially focus on that one sentence that you put your eye on. Please don't go to two or three or four or five. Okay, we're only focusing everything morning and night so the conscious, subconscious, and super subconscious receives it during your rest time and just having it in there and growing as a seed. But the one sentence you're really gonna be focusing on to practice that. So if you say, I am beautiful, just for saying I'm beautiful. Okay, then that's, and that's where your eye landed, but then it also landed in I am very smart. Make sure you go to the one that's I am beautiful and practice that in your life. Every time you pass a mirror for the next 28 days, bathroom mirror, mirrors around the house, rear view mirror, make sure you look in there and say, I am whatever that is. So in this case, I am beautiful. And make sure that you don't avoid the mirrors because the mirrors will catch our eye anyway. What if you see yourself in 
the glass mirror of, you know, sometimes we can see the reflection in the window. Well, if that's a case and you notice, then say in your mind, I am whatever that sentence is. I can share with you that this has been very, very inspired. I'm doing it right now. And so as a person that receives divinely channeled guidance, and this is from Raphael, this is from your garden, guardian angel, and those that want to work with you to create great self-esteem as we would raise a little child and reprogramming ourselves, but really with the help of our deities and angels, everything will manifest a lot quicker, like I said earlier. Be well, take care, trust, and know that what I've given you is for your highest good. Have a wonderful full moon, and we're going into Halloween, so we wanna stay very high and light. I appreciate all of you that watch, please watch as often as you can, and I will be seeing you soon. Thank you so much.